10 media, Sterling Crane 0, C of Cole McDonald. Starting in seventh out of Hamilton, the Case IH Rochester Nighthawks 0. That's Mikey Krutchka going off eighth out of Caster Center, the KT Tobacco 10 line variety. 97, the SOS point leader, Corey Turner. And starting at ninth out of Mount Hope, the 66, it's Frank Baranowski. Nine cars here in this first qualifying heat for the Cool Kids Ice and Water Corp Pack Sprints versus the Southern Ontario Sprints. Green flag waves and a rolling through corners one and two, the 22 of Sean Slater, but here comes the number nine of Steve Lyons. Slater to the bottom in corners one and two, breaks the momentum of the number nine machine and Josh Slater in the third spot at the moment, but side by side for fourth are Jamie Turner and Cole McDonald. Yeah, the veteran and the youngster down there going at it for that fourth position. Meanwhile, at the front, Steve Lyons is your leader as he works by Sean Slater. He'll lead the lap, Slater back in second. Lions taking the short way around there last time to take the lead from the 22 of Slider off of corner number two, completed the pass through turn number four. Now he pulls away this time through corners three and four, but bobbled the car right in the center of the corner there, Greg. And there goes Josh Slider up high in corner four. He'll get the car back on the track. Steve Lyons, your leader. Sean Slider in second, third. Right now, Jamie Turner, the man on the move. Is that zero machine? Mikey Krutchka's got it wound up, started in seventh. He's challenging for third. Following the traditional line that his boss usually runs right up on the top side of the racetrack. And oh, Krutchka right across the nose of the 11 of Jamie Turner. They nearly made contact as Turner got out of the throttle. Krutchka up to third, Turner back to fourth. Corey Turner is doing some nice work here as well. He started back in the eighth position and he's trying to get by his dad, Jamie Turner, of course. Second place in points here at Ush Weekend and he's the current point leader for the Southern Ontario Sprints heading into this doubleheader weekend. Good run going for the 97 machine, as you mentioned, from 8th to 4th in this qualifying heat race. Mikey Krutchka from 7th to 3rd, and now coming after 2nd as he works the outside of Sean Slater. Give the runner-up spot to the Krutchka number 0 as the white flag waves for Steve Lyons. Lyons, your leader, and passing points are the name of the game. These qualifying heats, Mikey Krutchka has picked up a ton of them. Here he is in the 2nd spot with Sean Slater back to 3rd. Checkers coming out off of corner 4. Steve Lyons will pick up the win. Second place at the line will be Mikey Krutchka. Third will be Sean Slider. Fourth, Corey Turner. Fifth will be Jamie Turner. Sixth, Cole McDonald. Seventh at the line will be Warren Mahoney. Eighth will be Josh Slider. And Frank Baranowski will conclude the running order in that first of three qualifying heats for the Cool Kids Ice and Water Core Pack Sprints versus the Southern Ontario Sprints. So the winner, Steve Lyons out of Carlisle, Ontario. In the Nitro 54 variety MMBO direct marketing card number nine. Double header weekend for the Southern Ontario Sprints in action here tonight, and then they'll be down at the uh, D shaped track down south of Chatham, Ontario, the South Buxton Raceway down in Merlin. So, eight cars, eight laps of the distance, the second qualifying heat of the night for the Cool Kids Ice and Water Core Pack Sprints versus the Southern Ontario Sprints. Youngster Kyle Phillips, second generation driver. You may recognize the name Tim Phillips. This is his son competing here tonight in the 21P. He is on the pole, green flag off of four. Side by side through corners one and two. Oh, trouble to the 15 of Dan Nanico gets turned around right in front of the field in corners one and two. Caution flag will wave as Nanico comes to a stop up in corner number two. Adam West had taken the race lead off of corner number two, but it is Dan Nanico spinning right behind him, and Greg, uh, fortunately, everybody got through that unscathed. Yeah, close call in corner two, but uh, no harm, no foul. Dan Nanico will get pushed back down the banking and back under power in the Nitro 54 variety. Number 15, his rookie season in the 360 sprint car division. He drove last year in the Crate sprint cars. Still one more qualifying heat to go for the Cool Kids versus SOS sprints. And then we head into our B mains. There is not one needed tonight for the- We're watching the weather. We'll give a report here in a couple minutes. Our race director, Doug Leonard, did tell the drivers uh, for the Cool Kids Core Pack 360 sprint cars and the Southern Ontario sprints that their feature would be bumped ahead in the schedule uh, behind the Thunderstock feature. So that will be the second feature of the night as the cleanup crew continues to work to push off the number 15 of Dan backwards, depending on the track conditions. Typically, you'll 
See the wing pushed a little further forward earlier in the night as the track maintained some moisture and pulled further back as the track slicks off, so they keep some more downforce over the rear wheels. As Kyle Phillips, Adam West will bring us back to the green flag. Complete restart, and we are back underway. Adam West challenging on the outside line of the youngster, Kyle Phillips. He'll bring Tyler Hendricks with him off a of corner two. Hendricks not wasting any time at all there. The number 38 machine is, he drives right to the outside and here comes the straight shooter, Scott Kruder, into the third position as well. Last week's runner up in the 49 machine looking strong so far. Scott Kruder is hungry. He really wants that first win here at Oshwikin Speedway and he is charging hard. Oh, Hendricks got sideways in front of him. He had to get out of the throttle. Now West down in front of Hendricks and Kruder goes around the outside of both of them. Wow, what a move by Scott Kruder there off of corner number four and now off of turn number two. You've got a new leader. It's the straight shooter, Scott Kruder, in car number 49 to the outside of the Batman, Adam West. Kruder leads lap number three. Kruder to the point with the Batman. Adam West back there in second. Tyler Hendricks in third. Now troubles for Ryan Turner. Goes a little bit high in corner number two, and he will get it back on track. Cross flags are out. Four in four to go for the street shooter, Scott Kruder. We'll see what Tyler Hendricks can do to try and track down Adam West in the number 30 machine here. Had a good run going up at the front there before Kruder got ahead of him in the 49. As both drivers run the bottom of the speedway, West a little bit loose there and out of shape. And now Hendricks has a run as he drives to the high side in turn one. Charging on the outside line. Can he get by Adam West? To the drivers from the uh, western end of the province, duking it out for the second spot. Scott Kruder leads with two laps left to go. Now Hendricks moves into second. And the Pancor Ontario driver, Tyler Hendricks, battling with Ridgeway's Adam West there in the number 30 machine. White flag set to wave for the straight shooter, Scott Kruder in car number 49. He races underneath the flag stand here this time. Hendricks in second, West in third, and here comes Jim Hoopinen looking to get a podium spot. Down into corner three for the final time. Scott Kruder will work it off a of corner four to the checkered flag. Scott Kruder picks up the win. Second in the line will be Tyler Hendricks. Third holding on will be Adam West. Fourth will be Jim Hoopman. Fifth will go to Ryan Turner. Sixth will be Dan Nanico. Seventh, Kyle Phillips. And eighth will go to Mike Farrell. So there's your winner out of Alden, New York. And the Fireworks Composite for Zach Enterprises, number 49. The straight shooter, Scott Kruder, wins heat race number two. E3 making its way out onto the speedway now for the cool kids. Sprints versus the Southern Ontario Sprints. And starting on the pole for this one out of Thamesford, Ontario, the Vipond, Eller Car, number six, it's Curtis Gartley. Rolling off second out of Charing Cross, the ERW Con. Final qualifying heat of the night. Before we go to our last chance qualifiers and our features. Curtis Gartley, Scott Burke on the front row. The point leader back there on the inside row number two, that Orange 47X, Dylan Westbrook. Green flag waving on the third and final heat race for the Cool Kids Core Pack. 360 sprint cars and going from position three to the lead down the back straightaway is the 47X of Dylan Westbrook. The six of Curtis Gartley in second and third, the 9B of Scott Burke here on lap number one. Level seven wins already on the season this year. No surprise to see D-Dubs out to the front, leading lap number one. And here he is going through three and four with Curtis Gartley in second. And Mac the man having a good run. He's up there to third. Yeah, definitely a good strong start for the 17X machine. Started back in the seventh spot. Now all the way up to third already. That with time and passing points with the 97 of Corey Turner so far here. And now he's going to come after the six of Curtis Gartley off of turn number four. John Burbridge Jr. will take his car to the pit area. Some problems on the 21. Battle now is for second. Curtis Gartley and Mac the Man. Mac the Man on that 17X charges to the inside. He'll shoot by. Gartley opens up the bottom side, but he'll be able to hold the spot at the line. Less than halfway here, or just past halfway for the 47X of Dylan Westbrook. He races into corner number three, a full straightaway ahead of Mac Demand's number 17X. Curtis currently runs in the third spot, then Mike Thurn fourth, and Scott Burke, your top five with five laps complete. Dylan Westbrook working by Alan Gilletta Jr. Puts him a lap down as we come by, this time by two laps left to go for D-Dubs, the current point leader. Second spot, Mac the Man in that town line variety, 17X. He'll whip around the outside. Curtis Gartley in third. 
Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne back there in fourth. Scott Burke with a solid run in fifth. White flag waving now for the 47X machine, still maintaining that full straightaway advantage over McDeman 17X. Both drivers right up around the cushion in turns one and two, and again through the middle in turns three and four. And now checkered flag will wave. The 47X of Dylan Westbrook wins heat race number three. Second goes to McDeman at car 17X. Curtis Gartley will take third in the number six. 55 of Mike Thurngorse into the fourth position. Scott Burke will finish in fifth. Sixth will be the 44 of Barry Dunn, and seventh will be the 22X of Al Gilletta Jr. And the 21 of John Burbridge scored in the eighth position to complete qualifying heat race action for tonight's Cool Kids Core Pack 360 Sprint Car versus the Southern Ontario Sprints Challenge. So all the qualifying heats in the books now. As we get ready for last chance qualifiers, it looks like the action, uh, pardon me, the action sprint tour. The Strickland GMC crate sprint, you can tell it's That's a couple weeks it's all ago. blending together. <laughs> <laughs> the Strickland GMC crate sprint car division ready to go. 15 out of Kester Center and the Kingpin Farms, Aiken Motors, Burger Barn number 91, it's Ryan Turner. Starting 14th out of Springfield and on, on the pole at Bridgetown, Ontario. The one-stop auto parts, car number 30, the Batman, Adam fireworks West. Lighting up the sky, the official firework provider of Oshwikin Speedway. Check them out, Highway 54 in Middleport. They're also online on Facebook. Lone Wolf Fireworks, the official firework provider of the Big O. Well, Greg, awesome field of 25 cars getting set to take the green flying the second largest the Strickland field. GMC pace truck pulls off down the back stretch Kyle McKenzie with double greens in hand ladies and gentlemen you came looking for a show well here you go let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation oh upside down Mikey Bobby Mike Thorne over Scott Burke involved as well as a red flag will come out. A quick flip on the front stretch between Scott Burke and Mike Thorne brings out the red flag, the drop of the green flag. See Mike Thorne unbuckling inside the car. Climbing out over through the top of the roll cage in that number 55 machine, you see him hop out of the race car, and I didn't see what started that, Greg, but I just saw top wings uh, up and over, and that was a, a tough one to watch there. And safety crew attending to the 9B of Scott Burke. Looks like we can see him moving around inside the race car now. And well, Guys, Alan Gilletta all right here asking to be pushed off. Mike Thorne out of his own car. Scott Burke still on his side. He's climbing out of his car right now. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? All these drivers are A-OK. -okay. That's the main thing. Well, I got Mike Thorne here, Mike. Uh, welcome to 360 racing, sir. Not the way you want to go. This car is absolutely destroyed. What happened to the back of the pack here? Uh, I don't know. Somebody just clipped my right rear a little bit. Uh, racing, I guess. But, yeah, that was, that was a little bit more vicious than I was ready for. <laughs> You're still laughing and smiling. That's the main thing. One of our longtime credits. All right, Mike. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thanks to my crew ahead of time because I know we'll be back next week. Will be fast as ever. How about it for Mike Thorne, one of the class acts here? Scotty Burke, you've had a couple of bad wrecks. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just uh, hard racing and a wrong spot at the wrong time. I feel bad for, you know, 55 car and whoever else is involved, but I don't know. <laughs> we've wrecked a lot of stuff this year, and I'm thinking that uh, we better revamp our options here. Get some rest, buddy. Rest up. He's all right, though. How about, ladies and gentlemen, one huge Josh Week and Speedway welcome. Let these drivers know we appreciate that they are all right putting on this entertainment for you. Remember, this is a hobby, and they all need to go to work each and every Monday. I want to welcome those rejoining us back in the live feed. We apologize. We did have a uh, break in the action. A few folks asking if we got hit by lightning. No, we're okay here. We just had a uh, problem with the live stream but we are up and going and if you want to help spread the word share the the live stream with those that are uh, your friends on your friends lists on Facebook share that up and uh, keep this going out there again if you're here in person you can go right to our Facebook 
page or you can go right to our OshwikanSpeedway.com page and you can uh, watch the videos there, see the replays as we are watching right now the, the flip that took place on the front stretch there. And uh, you can do that on your uh, device right here in the stands. And the corner two camera, Greg Voidell over there, caught the accident. It was at quite a distance, so kind of hard to see. They kind of had the full field in view there. It was kind of hard to tell who was who there. As they cars are a little little shadowy in that mix there, but uh, obviously the 55 of Mike Thorne and the 9B of Scott Burke catching the, the worst of that. Nasty flip for Mike Thorne. It wasn't your typical rollover either. That was kind of a sideways twist. He went on there for a bit, and uh, he, he went from going on the tilt-a-whirl to the Ferris wheel to the tilt-a-whirl. I don't like either of those rides. And there was almost Burger Barn all over the track. <laughs> Good to see both drivers, A-OK -okay and Alan Gilletta, also out of that as well. So busy day tomorrow, sprint car wise, because as we mentioned, we got the Southern Ontario Sprints going to the South Buxton Raceway tomorrow night, and that is just south of Chatham. So a couple hours drive from here, if you are looking for some 360 action, you can catch that uh, tomorrow down at South Buxton Raceway, southbuxtonraceway.ca for directions and information to get there. The Action Sprint Tour is on the road for their longest trip of the season as they go down to 25 laps of distance for the Southern Ontario Sprints Challenge Race here against the Cool Kids Ice and Water Corps Pack Sprint Cars. So now it's Scott Cruder, Mac the Man, restarting on the front row. Kyle McKenzie will try it all over again. Turning them loose, they drag race side by side into corners one and two. Cruder with the advantage, but here comes Mac Demand turning underneath them to the bottom in corners three and four. Demand and Cruder side by side off of corner number four, but Cruder leads lap one. Yeah, Cruder really flexed the muscle off of corner four and drove on by Mac Demand. Tell you what, one guy that's hooked up tonight is Mikey Krutchkin, the zero. Made up a ton of passing points in his heat, and here he is. He's making the charge for second on Mac Demand. How about Steve Lyons in that number nine machine racing with Dylan Westbrook for the fourth position? Westbrook up top, but Lyons making it work on the bottom side of the speedway right now, holding off the current point leader. Off of corner number four at the line. Scott Cruder leads. Mac Demand really went high in corner four. That opened up the inside. Mikey Krutchka got by for the runner up spot as Barry Dunn goes to the high side and into the pit area. So it's still Scott Cruder out in front of the field here in the number 49 machine. Half a straightaway, his advantage with four laps complete. Mikey Krutschka taking that number zero machine right to the top shelf there in corners one and two. Mac Demand still within striking distance in the 17X. He goes where Krutschka isn't, works through the middle side of the racetrack as they work past the number 22 and caution flag waving on the speedway. Mike Farrell problems in corner number four, and I thought he was going to come down in front of Dylan Westbrook. And now more troubles for Mike Farrell trying to get the car to the pit area. So he has got some problems maybe on the right side. Well, he stays out. Stays on the racetrack. Tough to tell. The way that car was leaning up over the bank there in turns one and two, looked like you might be right there. Could have been the problem on the right side, but then he kept it on the racetrack, so not too sure may have realized that if there is an issue that he needed to stay on the racetrack in order to get his two minutes in the work area, that could have been part of the issue. But uh, all the sneakers are up on that number 15 machine. So we'll draw that 50-50 number here in a couple of races. Again, we'll do the souvenir program prize draw at the conclusion of this feature. Coming back to the green flag, the straight shooter Scott Cruder will set the pace and lead them single file past the restart cone on the front stretch. Good clean start from Cruder, who takes the bottom through corners one and two, not taking a chance with any slide jobs there at that end of the racetrack. Here comes Mac Demand at the zero of Mikey Krutschka sliding up in front of him. Krutschka back underneath them though, and holds on to the second spot at the line. Wow, that was close between Krutschka and Demand as they go at it. Two of the most exciting drivers in the field. Here they go back at it, corner three. Demand on the bottom, Krutschka around the top. Krutschka has the momentum up on the top shelf there in the number zero machine. As 
to Mann trying to work that bottom group right behind them. Dylan Westbrook trying to find some clean air in the middle of the, with the 47X machine. Now he goes to the top to follow his teammate through corners three and four. Still all Kruder out in front though. Kruder, your leader, down on the bottom sideline where Mac Demand and Dylan Westbrook are running. Mikey Krunchka really committed to that at top side. Here he goes in corner three. Kruder is back up there in three and four as well. And Dylan Westbrook goes up. So drivers trying to find something, a lane to work that's going to make them quicker than the guy in front of them. Now trying to work through some slower traffic here. They get past the 22 machine of Al Gilletta Jr. And now coming after the 71S of Josh Slider is Scott Kruder. Kruder gets by him down the front straightaway through corner number one and two. He'll have to deal with the 66 of Frank Baranowski. And now the couple of Steyer's racing teammates, Mikey Krutzke and Dylan Westbrook, run second and third. Yeah, Mac Demand shuffled back to the fourth spot. Steve Lyons doing a nice job. He's up there in the top five here tonight as Dylan Westbrook moves by Mikey Krutzke in corner two. Krutzke's got a good run, but he'll stay tucked in line in third. Kratzka thought about trying to make a move on his teammate Dylan Westbrook, but didn't have enough to get it done. Now Westbrook trying to reel in the number 49 of Scott Kruder. Kruder slowed by a couple of lap, lap cars there, lost a little bit of ground, but now works past Cole McDonald and Warren Mahoney without much issue, but can't quite run his preferred line, and now Westbrook is right there. Yeah, he's reeling him in. Here comes Dylan Westbrook into corner number one. Both drivers go down low as they work around the 25 of Warren Mahoney. I'll tell you what, a driver that's caught fire here is the 17X of Mac Demand. He's beginning to catch the top two. He's now back to third. Faded back to fourth there at one point. Now back up to third as he got by Krutchka's number zero machine. And now within about six or seven car lengths of Westbrook's 47X per second. And Kruder and Westbrook, a torrid pace in the front of the field here as they run the top past a couple of slower cars. Mikey Krutchka now has faded back to the fourth spot. And he's in the hands of the nine of Steve Lyons. He could uh, lose that fourth spot, keeping an eye on Cole McDonald, who nearly tagged the wall in corner four. But we stay green as this time by it'll be 15 complete and 10 laps to go for and Scott And now Demand Kruger. gets by the 47X of Dylan Westbrook for second there off of corner number four. Just 10 laps to go now. A little breathing room for Scott Kruger in the 49 machine. He goes right back up to the top in corners three and four. Kruger sees a big, heavy pack of traffic directly in front of him. One of those, Cole McDonald headed to the pit area, but right in front of the leader, the 11 of Jamie Turner. Behind Kruder right now is the 17X of Mac Demand, who has really turned up the wick. Dylan Westbrook back to third. Fourth right now is Krutchka and fifth, Steve Lyons. And they are not letting Kruder get away by much in that number 49 machine. Kruder continues to pull away by just about 10 car lengths, but the man starting to reel him in there. He's got to make sure he keeps all four wheels on the racetrack. He's been known to get up over that cushion, and that time he had to thread the needle through a couple of lap cars. Wow, nice job by Mac to man to get through the lap traffic. Here he is trying to hold off Dylan Westbrook, while at the same time trying to reel in the leader, Scott Kruder. Kruder right up around the outside, lapping cars off a corner of our, oh, barely had room, and he gets by Josh Slider in the 71S. Wow, mere inches between the 49 and the wall there as Josh Slider did not give the race leader much room. Demand to the outside now as well as the 49 of Kruder who works around the rookie, the 360 rookie, the 22 exit, Al Gilletta Jr. Five laps to go now for the straight shooter looking for his first Dutch weekend win. Westbrook down to the inside trying to get back by Mac Demand. The leader's really having a tough time I'm getting through the traffic. We got a few cars that are really off the pace, but they've all been able to get by so far. Right now, it's Scott Kruder out in front over Mac Demand. Dylan Westbrook right now in that third spot as they are in some half, uh, lap traffic again. Warren Mahoney right in front. Mikey Krutzka running in the fourth spot. Fifth is the 14H of Jim Hoopin, and at the moment, three laps to go. Now, Mac Demand has caught the race leader, Scott Kruder. Demand to the inside off of corner number two. Driver out in front looking for his first career win here at Oshwikin Speedway. He's never won here at this track. Mac Demand's got one win in the 360s, and the guy behind him, he's already got seven this year. Dylan Westbrook. Westbrook to the inside of Demand. Tries to cut up in front. Demand goes down the backstretch, squeezes by. Trouble wow. in corner three. Around goes the 14 of Jim Hoopinen, and that will bring out the caution flag. Now with two laps left to go, and Jim Hoopinen, who is challenging for a top five spot, spins in corner three, brings out the caution. Heartbreaker for the Red Rocket. Wow, tough break for Hoopinen, who, like you said, Greg, was running inside the top five and had a little bit of a chance to try and catch the zero of Mikey Krutchka for the fourth position there. 
And this sets up one heck of a finish as the man caught Scott and Cruder there in turn number two, the lap before the caution flag waved and stuck the nose to the inside there. And we will see what these guys have left for a green white checkered finish. At one point in this race, Mac Demand went from being at the front to getting shuffled back to fourth and almost getting passed by Steve Lyons. And then before we knew it, he was right there challenging for the lead. He nearly took it away from Cruder there the lap before the caution. And now we're gonna see this set right up. The top three are all nose to tail. And get ready to get back at it here. Two laps left to go. Cruder looking for his first us we can win. Back to man looking for his second career 360 win. Dylan Westbrook just looked to add to the pile. Good start for Cruder in the 49 machine. Goes to the bottom, not taking any chances that the man could throw a slide job there and turns one and two. And now he pulls away by eight car lengths off of corner number four. He takes the white flag. Final time around for the street shooter. Meanwhile, side by side for second. Westbrook on the bottom. Demand on the top. They'll go wheel to wheel off a of corner two. Demand will try and thread the needle. No, he has to hit the brakes. Final time off of corner number four. The straight shooter, Scott Cruder, goes to victory lane on a shrieking for the first time. Westbrook second, Mac Demand third, Mikey Krutzka fourth, and Steve Lyons the top five. The street shooter, Scott Cruder, will pick up his first Oshuiken Speedway win. He is going to be one happy man. The driver of Alden, New York, in the Fiberworks Composite. Merzak Enterprises, number 49. The street shooter, Scott Cruder, driving for the Hoddock Racing Team. First career Oshuiken Speedway win. And a driver that has been coming to the racetrack for a long time. and supported the speedway in a number of different ways uh, competed with a couple of different teams and tonight he gets to go to victory lane aboard the number 49. Lone Wolf fireworks lighting up the sky as Scott Cruder celebrates in the 49 machine. Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf fireworks the official fireworks provider of Oshrieken Speedway. Check them out online and on Facebook Highway 54 in Middleport. Okay, souvenir programs, we'll run through those numbers really quick here before we get to the uh, crate sprint car feature. If you have any of these numbers, go down to the flag stand to claim your prize. Up first, $50 gift certificate to Grand River.